Why does a week have seven days? Why not six or 10? The answer is written in the sky and it's been controlling your life since ancient times. Thousands of years ago, before clocks, before calendars, people tracked time using the only thing they had, the sky, and they noticed something strange among the thousands of stars. Seven objects moved differently. They weren't stars at all. They were planets. These weren't just lights. To ancient civilizations, these were gods. And each one got its own day of the week. Sunday, the sun's day. Named after the sun, the most powerful force in the sky. Monday, the moon's day. Named after the moon, Earth's closest celestial companion. Tuesday, Mars Day, the god of war. Named after Mars, the red planet and the Roman god of war. Wednesday, Mercury's Day, the messenger god, named after Mercury, the fastest moving planet and the god of communication. Thursday, Jupiter's Day, the king of the gods. Named after Jupiter, Jove, the biggest planet and ruler of the gods. Friday, Venus's Day, the goddess of love. Named after Venus, the brightest planet and goddess of love. Saturday, Saturn's Day, the god of time and harvest. Named after Saturn, the slowest planet and god of agriculture and time. Some cultures didn't use seven days. The ancient Egyptians, they had a 10-day week. The French Revolution, a 10-day calendar that totally flopped. So what if we had a 10-day week today? Imagine working seven days straight and then enjoying a three or even four day weekend. Sounds pretty sweet, right? But here's the thing, seven days just works. It's been tested, tried, and adapted for centuries, and somehow it's stuck.